Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24 7. Um, I thought um, today was kind of a really weird day. It's been a really weird start to the weekend. Not bad, just odd, you know. A whole bunch of things happening you weren't planning on, that kind of a deal, and just kind of throws you all off. So I thought, you know, let's go have some fun in the craft room and we will wing it in here and. And take things in stride as they come today since it's so odd <laughs> so um with that um the new stamp and die set from the stamps of life that's coming out is a super cute little wreath set and I thought I don't have that one so I thought well um what do I have that is a bit similar and um, I have this little uh, wreath set from the stamps of life it's called wreath for me and um, I thought we could use this uh, to make a really cute card. Um, I pulled out this set here. I really love these little banner sentiments. So I thought we could use one of these. Uh, be joyful, be merry, or Merry Christmas with the little banner die there. Um, since this is kind of a square, I thought we could frame it with these. Cut it out with one of these. And um, then do a little stenciled background and... Um, so I pulled out um, some dark green uh, cardstock from the Stamps of Life, uh, some white cardstock to stamp on, I got my scratch paper, and then I thought I really love green and gold together, so I thought we'll do some something possibly with gold. But um, I was thinking that uh, red and green ink, uh, I don't have my uh, spearmint one yet. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Up, and then I got the Stamps of Life Cranberry out, and uh, oh, I don't have my blending brush. Well, we'll just blend in green and stamp in something else, but I thought we could um, color this up with the uh, Spectrum Noir Tri-Blends, and uh, let's see, let's grab, uh, we'll use some dark reds and some dark greens uh since it is going to be a christmas card yeah that's a good color and uh yeah we'll use these so we're going to use dark red and jade green shades uh to color up our little stamp set there and then um our little wreath and uh, go from there but anyhow let's get started so i want to make a square card since this is pretty much kind of a square ish it's round but in the package it looks square so I thought let's make a square card. So I only have uh, this in eight and a half by eleven. So what I'm going to do is make a five and a half by five and a half inch card. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it eleven inches long, and then cut it down to five and a half inches wide. And then uh, oh I forgot my I'll grab my uh, score. And I probably forgot a few other things as well. So let's uh, score this to, uh, since we're 11, let's do five and a half. So we have a five and a half inch square card. Let me see if I can weasel this over here. Oh, it's not working. I didn't prepare as much as I did the other day, grabbing stuff out and moving things over. All right, so let's do this. Hey, yeah. I like it. That's going to be really nice. So now let's go ahead and let's make a... Whoops. Oh, that's loud. Wow, that is really loud. Uh, let's see. Let's do... That's five and a half. Let's do a five and a quarter. Let's see, five and a quarter or five. Let's do five. Let's do five by five. A uh, card front layer. We'll stencil our, um, actually let's do this one, it's a little jinky there. That'll give us a nice green border. I like that. And we could do side folding or top folding. Top folding would be nice. I don't hardly ever do this. Although a uh, side folding stands up better. I think that's good. So that's a five by five. And then let's uh, do some plaid on it. 
my camera's at a really hmm Let's see maybe that'll be better and let's see so i got this plaid stencil that uh stencil um plaid stencil from the stamps of life and so i'm just gonna lay it on here let's see i'm gonna line this edge up to the edge of my cardstock i think that looks cool and so how do i huh i don't know how i'm getting green everywhere oh wow i got green everywhere Oh, uh, let's see. Apparently the last thing I did was green. So here, it's just, and uh, since this is just going to be a panel, I only have to do the sides. Uh, I probably have to make sure I go in a little bit farther. And, uh, got green all over me. I don't even know how I did that. That's so weird. That's good. We don't have to do the metal. I don't think. Let's see. That looks pretty good. Oh. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. All right. Let me get another one. Let me clean some of this up. This is not going well. All right, it's a weird day. It is such a weird day. Oh, it's all over the handle. Oh, that's... All right, hang on one second. That's what the issue is. It's I got green all over the handle. Oh, I was like, man, where did I get all the green from? That is a really juicy pad. Sheesh. Oh yeah, it's all over the handle. Oh great. Okay. Alright, let's try to... I'll try to <laughs> clean this up and start over. Let's reset here. And I missed it here, so I gotta redo that. Wow, this isn't starting off so keen. Uh, hopefully it goes better than... So what did we say? We said 5x5, five five, right? Let's try a 5x5. Five five. I'm just cutting a new panel here. But I'm scared I'm going to get green all over me, so I was staying over in the clean area. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's line this up. Make sure that it's. We gotta make sure our little panel is in the stencil. So I see the edge here. And the edge is right there. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, let's see if we can give that a go. I got green all over me. Oh my heavens. It was all over the handle of my brush. Don't ask me how in the world I did that. Okay, now since this is going to be a mat, we only have to do the edges. Alright, take two. Take two. <laughs> Weird day. Weird day. That's okay. Weird day, probably a pretty card. It'll probably come out really pretty now, because it's a weird day. We don't have to be too dark because we got our other green. This is going to layer on top of it. Let's see. That'll that'll fit. All right, that looks cool. Oh wow. Okay, that looks cool. We got the edges all the way to the edge. All right, let's let's put this away before I get green everywhere. And then I'll just wash this off later. 
Yeah. And we'll get that guy put away till we need it again. Let me wipe my hands off. Okay, so that looks cool. I like that. I really like this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ink is everywhere. Alright, that means you're having fun, I guess, right? Okay, let's... Let's see what this looks like. Hey, that looks cool. Alright, that looks really cool. Alright, so let's do... Now, let's... I need a panel. Let's stamp this guy out. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. We need some white. Let's see. What size do we want to do this on? Let's get these guys out. Let's see what how big we want it to be. So these are the stitched square dies from the Stamps of Life. Wait, where are you? Right there. And let's see. Let's see, what do we want? Oh, that looks good. You can still see your mat there. See, that looks nice. Um, we could do that. That. What if we make a frame in gold? Let's do that. Let's stamp it, cut it out, and then we'll frame it in gold. So let's let's hold off on this for a second. So let's stamp this out. Let me have my stamping platform. Let's see, let's move this over. Oh, I need a block. Sure, you guys have had weird days where you think you're going to be doing one thing and it just goes completely in a different direction. That has how today has gone. Not bad, just different. Just odd. Oh, and this is memento black ink, so I could use alcohol markers on it. Should I have stuck this in my stamparatus? I thought, oh, I'd get away stamping it real quick with a block. Let's just see what it looks like. Well, that's good. That's good. We'll do that. Okay, so let's wipe this off. Let's see, we'll get this put away here. Oops, sorry, that's loud. And let's see, let's put this away. Yeah, that'll work. That's pretty cute. Let's actually cut it out. Where's my, oh, right there. I was like, hey, that's just what? How do we like that? Is that a good size? These are just a hair larger, I think. I feel like, is that my biggest one? Yeah, that's the biggest one. Let's cut it out of this one. I like that. That looks good. Let's tape that there. Some of those you gotta double check everything today because it's just a weird day. I got my little, uh, you know, my little 
big kick here. I'm going to run it through. I'm going to put my um, little, this is a sticky back paper on it to keep it nice. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I didn't make it crooked. Hold on. These you got to make crooked or they don't like to cut it all. Or even just a hair. Okay, hopefully you guys don't. Um, and hopefully that cut. Oh, it did. Cool, cool. Let's see. And then let's color this up with our little alcohol markers. We'll save that piece. I'll probably cut a sentiment out of it. Yeah, that'll work. Hey, that looks good. What does that look like with our card? Hey, that's going to be really nice. Come on now. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so let's put these back. Where are you? Where do you live? Here we go. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. And, uh, hopefully I get to do some canning tomorrow. Let's see, let's, uh, do this here. And we're done with this here. Okay, and let's get to, oh boy, you guys, I would say fast forward from here. <laughs> this might take a little while. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Alright, well, if you're in for the long haul, get some... Something to drink, I guess, and maybe some snacks. Uh, I am no, I am not proficient at this at all. I just wing it. Um, yeah. So, I just do what works for me here. And yeah. Basically a little outline. Another outline, and then light in the center. That's pretty much how I roll. And I've I've watched the um, Crafter's Companion little videos and stuff, and they're actually quite helpful. But honestly, it, it is a lot of work if you really want to make it nice. And I'm too lazy. <laughs> I don't want to spend that much time on it. <laughs> I'd rather have... If I could stamp it, I'd rather do that. <laughs> but, I really like this wreath, and I think it'll be gorgeous. And if we just take a little bit of time... And color it up real quick. You guys in frame? Yeah, definitely get some coffee or something. <laughs> We just had a customer um, come today, and uh, they are going to Mexico. How fun is that? Some fancy resort over there, and uh, they're just staying the whole week. They gotta wear masks and stuff, and uh, whatnot. But the resort is like really nice. They don't even have to go anywhere. Apparently, there's like so much fun stuff to do there. They're just gonna hang out at the pool and stuff. I was like, oh, that sounds so nice. You guys do anything uh, fun over the summer? Uh, we're, we pretty much just work and garden or craft.
That's about all we do. Uh, we are going to a barbecue, though, since it is Labor Day on Monday. Got invited to a fun little family get-together. Okay, so that's all my little berries and my bow there. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, these these leaves might take a little bit. There is a lot of them. And I don't know any quicker way other than uh, outlining them and... Uh, filling in with the lightest. Uh, so I would definitely say fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes me wish I would have done a little, um, um, power of YouTube video. One of those, uh, it's already, it's already colored. <laughs> I probably should have done that. <laughs> All right, leave your tricks in the comments down below if you got a faster way to do this. Other thing I thought we could have stamped it on green and uh, just highlighted the edges, but I didn't have any good greens that were like Christmas other than the spearmint. I could have done it on mint chip, I guess, but then, well, and then I could have colored, I could have probably done the glitter, like red glitter or red vintage drops or something. Um... For the berries and the bow, I guess. Alright, okay, so if we're going to do it over, that's what we would do, I guess. So it went quicker. Oh, wait, I forgot, like, this giant leaf right here. And it's funny because none of the, I mean, it doesn't matter what markers you use, um, it still takes this long. <laughs> Is that, yeah, that's a leaf. Pretty sure. That one's so small, I'm just going straight to the light color. Don't worry, I'm still here. Just coloring away. You get to concentrating until you go faster, you know, but then you don't talk. <laughs> it gets like super quiet. <laughs> Almost like, is my audio broken? Buddy's doing good. Oh my heavens. Alright, so I do know how to entertain a 8 month old black lab. Alright, if you have a busy dog and you don't know what to do with him and you have a big enough backyard get a 40 inch horse ball. <laughs> that will keep him entertained for hours. At least it does ours. <laughs> oh my heavens. We, 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 we started him on a 25 inch horse ball and he absolutely loved it. But then he figured out how to like bite a hole in it. So John's been like patch repairing it. So then we thought, well, let's give him a little bit bigger one. Maybe he won't be able to bite, you know, 
that one as easily, you know, and destroy it. And, uh, well, he was figuring that out. And so I thought, well, let's get him one that he can't, like, jump on top of and, um, you know, bite down on and have, like, the most amount of leverage. So we got him a 40-inch one. And, oh, my heavens, it is hilarious to watch him with it. It tuckers him out, and he sleeps for hours. Oh, my goodness. He just loves the thing. And, uh, oh, wait. That's light. Oh, what? Oh, I think I skipped a color. Oh, well. It'll give it variation. It'll be fine. Anyhow, oh, my goodness. He loves the thing. And it is hilarious to watch him with it. This giant 40-inch ball. You can't even get it through a door. It's so big. Uh, cause it's 40 inches and we have big doors. They're 36, 36 inches wide, which is, you know, larger than the, you know, general house door. And, uh, we, we put big doors in because John's family, some of them, and a couple of our friends were in wheelchairs. So we wanted to make sure that they could, you know, come in and hang out with us and stuff. Anyhow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The directions need to say inflate outside. <laughs> Or at least in your garage, so you can get it out your garage door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we had to put two covers on it, uh, so he couldn't bite through it, because you can get because the horses, I guess, bite bite him too. And uh, so yeah, anyhow, it is hilarious. So uh, note to self: if you want to try it, they're a little bit expensive, because uh, the co the covers are like forty dollars. The ball, I think, is like 35 to $40. And if you end up, put, you know, putting the two covers on it, you know, it's a little expensive um, to be, uh, you know, having your dog bite through it, you know, 100 bucks in an hour. <laughs> so if you have a really, you know, big, chewy dog, maybe that wouldn't be the best thing. And you don't want to blow 100 bucks. <laughs> But so far, Buddy hasn't bitten through it, so it's it's been pretty good. And he is a big dog. We took him to the vet, and we found out that we thought he had this bird thing, this, like, bird disease, which he did. And we thought he was still having bouts of it and stuff, but apparently it isn't the bird thing. He actually has anxiety. And uh, so we've been kind of battling that, and they said the fix for that is to just take him everywhere and we're like, really? We thought, you know, you have to keep him home or whatever. So we've been, you know, trying to be overprotective for parents and whatnot. And anyhow, so now we've been just doing, taking him everywhere. We take him everywhere. And by golly, that has worked like magic. I mean, he gets tuckered out and everything. And it, it has been a blessing. And, um... He, he quit having, like, severe problems. So, that has worked out really nice. So, yeah. No, it's not the bird stuff anymore. It's just dog anxiety. Oh, that's him right now. <laughs> Buddy! I got my craft room door open usually when I do a video. And he hears me talking about him. Uh, you, usually when I do a video, I close the door. But John's outside, so I wanted to be able to hear him, you know. Because he was chewing on something he shouldn't have been. A plastic bucket. It's his. It... Oh, there's John right there. Hold on, guys. Alright, yeah, that was John. He just came in. So he's going to watch Buddy for me. Not watch him, but, you know, like. Make sure he doesn't eat anything. <laughs> We've been watching this new show on, I don't know what, Hulu or Netflix or something. Anyways, um, it's this guy who trains dogs. And he's actually really good. And it's been a hoot to see, like, you know, we're not the only ones that don't know how to handle a dog. Even though I've had like three or four of them. How many have we had? Let's see, um, we had Kate, Jack, Jill, Bill. 
so four, and then a cat. And um, they were all so easy compared to Buddy. It He is just so different than any dog we've ever had. It's been just the weirdest deal trying to figure out, and it's been a long time since we had a puppy. Like, ten years since we've had a puppy. Or it feels like ten years, anyways. I'm just babbling uh, while I finish this up really fast. Hopefully you guys don't mind. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, well, it is what it is. No shading on this leaf. I need something. That looks jinky. Hey, that looks better. There. That looks cool. Believe that. Alright, I'll try to focus a little more on this. Anyway. This one's not too bad to color. It goes, it goes pretty quick. I mean, we're almost done. What is it? Oh, 32 minutes? It's been 32 minutes? Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. Well, this is probably like painting the haunted house. Whoops, where I'm going with that. All right, what do we got a couple left? All right, we're almost done. Oh, what did I do? Am I upside down? No, I don't know. I think I'm upside down. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, I am. <laughs> that is funny. Alright, now we're back. I was like, how am I doing this so odd? There, yeah, see? There we go. Now we got our little rhythm back. Hey, two left. Hey, that looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. Hey, that looks pretty good. I like it. Let's see what it looks like. Come on. See, even that. That looks pretty good, right? Okay. So, we're almost done, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's see, we got our gold. We still need a sentiment. Uh, let's see. I think let's glue this panel down. So, I think I am going to do a side folding. Uh, I think I'm going to pop that one up. I think we should do a gold frame, though. Yeah, that 
that looks cool. Yeah, let's do that. That looks, that looks good, right? Yeah, that looks good. That, we'll keep that. And then we'll pop that up on dimensionals. And let's actually cut a gold frame really quick. Let's cut a frame to go around it. Gold would be really pretty. Gold and green look really awesome together. Let's do a frame. So I'm going to use this. It's the Heartfelt Creations Lux Gold. And I'm just going to run it a piece through my... Um, Xyron really quick. And let's see. Uh, let's see. I need to cut this down. Cut this to six so it fits in the machine. Let's see where's six right there. It's super slady. <laughs> Put it on an angle. Let's see. Let's make sure they're evenly spaced. It looks decent. As far as I can tell with the camera. Alright. And then I still need a sentiment. You guys don't shake too much. Did I get it? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Oops. It's just the backer is all. Let's see what this looks like. Hey! Right? Right? Come on. That is... That is cool. Okay. Alright, let's... Red. There. I like it. So let's pop this up too. With. Let's pop that up. Let's see. I have these are um, Heartfelt Creations. Um, strip adhesives because they're really thin but they'll add dimension see they're really thin they're as thin as the Stampin' Up uh, ones the Stampin' Up ones are too thick I think they're perfect for shakers but if you're unless you're doing like a triple depth kind of thing they're a little bit too too much for just throwing on a card to throw in the mail and I think that looks cool so let's do that Let's see, so we need a sentiment. I think, let's just go with Merry Christmas. That's easy. Oh, the packer's on this. Hmm. Got one. Yeah, and I 
think this is going to be really nice. I think this looks really nice. Okay, so we might have to do a little bit of... Does that look good? Yeah, so it looks square. That looks good, right? That's good, right? That looks cool. Okay, so let's get this cleaned up. Let's put those back. All right, let's um, let's see. Let's get a sentiment. Let's see what do we got here. Okay, so let's cranberry, cranberry, and I think let's just use Merry Christmas. And I just need a little piece of white. So we'll go here. Got my little die. Let's see what I got here. Love it. It will. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Let's see. So this is just some um, cranberry ink from Stamps of Life. Mm -hmm. Let's try one more, just in case. I think that one looks better. Okay, lid, lid, tape. Does that look good? Alright, well, we'll see once we get it out, huh? I think that looks cool. Okay, I got it on here. I'm just gonna run it through the machine really quick. Should have grabbed a, a small plate so I didn't have to uh, do that. Hey, that looks pretty good. Merry Christmas. Cool. Uh, let's let's pop that up on dimensionals too. Let's see. Can I just use no? These are good. Hey, it's red. These won't show through. These are stamping up ones. Let's see. We're gonna go on the merry side. Okay, bells and whistles. Let's see. Do you like it there? I think hanging off looks cool. Hmm, do we like that there? So let's just go for it. Is that straight? No. <laughs> I think that's better. Okay, we need something. Let's do this. And then I think let's do some, um, Let's do some glaze on the berries. I think that will possess it up just enough and make it look really cool. And I think we're gonna call it because hopefully this isn't an hour. If it is, it was fun. <laughs> and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Not having an odd day. <laughs> Oh, I love these uh, Spectrum Noir Shimmer Pens. Oh my goodness, these are so nice. Really easy. Look at how nice that is. Does it show up on camera? I don't know. Let's get the glaze. Let's see. What can we do here? Oh...
Oh, uh, this is the glossy accents. It is really nice on cards because it actually dries pretty quickly. And it goes on really nice. Let's just do the berries. Yeah, that's cool, huh? And then these will dry crystal clear. It'd be super fun. Did I get them all? Yeah, that looks cool. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, I think that looks cool. Okay, that's it, guys. What do you think? I think that I think that's a keeper. I think that is a keeper. All right, let me know what you guys uh, think down in the comments below. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.